Hi ladies, how are you? Um, I just wanted to do a quick recap video from some things I observed for my vendor event I did this past Saturday. I hope you all had a great fourth. I did. I had a lot of fun at um, Heritage Fest in downtown Fredericksburg, which is kind of close to my house. They closed off streets and there were tons of vendors. There was a lot of really good foot traffic. It was a pretty good day. Um, my day started off on a funnier note. I was setting up. I, I had my tent up. I had the banner on the back of my tent. And I had um, my tables, but I didn't have product out yet. And this guy was walking by with his wife, and he was kind of looking at me. But I didn't recognize him right away until he was a little bit further away. And then I was like, that's my UPS man. But he didn't, um, I just didn't recognize him out of the brown. And um, I was like, hey, so this is what uh, is in the, all those boxes you're always bringing me. So I, I didn't have product out yet, like I said. So he kind of stopped and he was looking at my banner and he was like, oh, okay, yeah, I, I see it on the back of your truck. So he probably recognized me as, you know, the person that meets him out in the driveway all the time, but um, he recognized our logo from my banner um, that he saw and he remembered seeing it on the back of my truck. So if you don't have a decal on your car, um, they're very, very worthwhile. People are looking. He had his wife with him. And since I didn't have anything out, I just took a quick second. I was like, well, it's all naturally based skincare stuff. So if your wife is interested, I will send you home with a posh paper and some samples. So the next time I know that the UPS man is going to be here, I'm going to meet him at the end of the driveway and swap out my delivery for um, a take-home bag for her. So that was good. And then also, um, I had something happen that's never, ever happened to me in an event before, but I was so excited. This is really that posh boom that we keep talking about in action. Typically, I only see a handful of people at my events that have heard of Posh or tried Posh before. So my first two customers that came in were two littler old ladies. And one of them was telling her friend, she's like, oh my gosh, I use this and this and this and I just ordered these. Not for me, I'm not her consultant. I know her consultant, but it's not me. So she talked her friend up Posh so much that her friend started purchasing things that she was recommending. And then she even told her friend, she's like, well, you have three items right now. If you get two more, you'll get another one for free. So she was great. That's the kind of customer that you love. They know your brand. They know your product. They love it. And you get that word of mouth. So I got a sale because of her. So that was exciting. But that wasn't what I was going to tell you either. Um, the most exciting thing that happened was somebody ran into my booth and went straight for my um, shelf where I had all my uh, cash and carry products and snatched a snarky bar off the shelf. And I had people coming in all day, you know, looking at things and picking up the packaging and checking it out. I like to display it because it's pretty. It's eye-catching. We all know that we love it. Um, so she picks up the snarky bar, and I see she has it, and I start talking to her. And I'm like, oh, you know, this is a snarky bar. And she interrupts me. She's like, I know. I, I just need a new one because mine ran out. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay, this is awesome for... Um, you know, it means people are using our products and they like our products and they know it and they're recognizing it. So that is amazing for us as consultants as long as we keep doing what we're doing and we're out there and we're putting ourselves in our community and branding ourselves as Posh Consultants. This is amazing for us. Um, I think we'll all start to see a change in our businesses in a really, really good way. But then on the downside, it really got me thinking afterwards and I was like, hmm, her consultant must not be taking very good care of her because you know, she let it run out. So, um, a side note, this is my lesson for you. If you're putting in orders, contact your past customers. Um, middle of the month, I would do it middle of the month so you're not uh, rushing at the end of the month to get your, you know, dollars in. You already have them and they're secure to get your PV that you need for your downline bonuses. But um, middle of the month, when you're placing an order, or if you do it at the end of the month, do it then, but it's just easier if you're not stressed. Um, give your customers a call. Say, Hi, how are you doing? This is LaVonda. Um, I was just calling to see if you needed any refills on any of your posh. Was there something else that you wanted to try that I could order for you? Or do you need a refill? Or did you have any questions about anything? Just check in with them because I bet if her consultant would have done that, she wouldn't have purchased one for me because she would already have one. So um, just some food for thought for you guys. But really saw that posh boom in action this weekend so i'm excited for the rest of the summer and the fall season can't wait to see what's new but um that's it for now have a great night thanks